everyone. Uh, again, my name is Megan McSwiggin. I'm a fourth year graduate student in the clinical psychology PhD program. I work with Dr. Kimberly Rank in the Understanding Children and Families lab, um, especially the Young Child and Family Research Clinic, which is under the umbrella of the UCF Psychology Clinic. So I'm over there in the psych building. And what we're really interested in my lab is young children, uh, mainly zero to six. And you might be thinking, psychology-wise, what's going on between zero and six, right? They're babies, they're toddlers, is there a lot that can go wrong there? And we're trying to get out there that there is. Um, a lot of times, parents don't start seeking psychological services until much later, school age, kindergarten, first grade. And um, it's becoming more and more apparent that a lot can go wrong within those early years. And so I'll be talking a little bit today about my thesis data. Um, when I was trying to decide what I wanted to research, I decided that I was most interested in uh, families where there's more than one child. Because uh, just think about yourself, if you are a sibling, or if you're not a sibling, if you don't have siblings, I'm sure you know of people who are siblings. Um, and there's always some kind of discussion of who's the favorite in the family, who's the least favorite, who does mom do this more to, does she discipline me more, or my brother, things like that. And so anecdotally, I've realized that, and then also in the literature, there's a lot of research on differential parenting, uh, which is a fancy way of saying how do we treat children in the same family differently. So I was interested in differential parenting and whether this predicts how parents rate their children emotionally and behaviorally. So um, does differential parenting predict behavior problems in children? And I found that it does. The more differential treatment there is in a family, it turns out the higher these parents are rating their children on things like depression, anxiety, uh, conduct problems, attention deficit problems, things like that. Um, then, to spruce it up a little bit, I decided to also investigate attachment, which um, I don't know if you're too familiar with the attachment realm, but pretty much boils down to the social-emotional relationship between parents and young children. And uh, briefly, this mediation model that I conducted uh, showed that, especially for older children, attachment is really, really important. Um, so it mediated the relationship between this differential parenting and uh, children's emotional and behavioral functioning. So that leads me to believe that there's something going on for older children, especially when there's a younger child in the family. There's feelings of jealousy, of, wait a minute, I'm not the only child in this family anymore, what's happening? Um, and so, you know, hopefully this will lead into uh, dissertation research, investigating more. So what are these feelings that these children are having? Um, I, I looked at parents for this study. I'd like to study children. It's a little bit harder to get them into the lab instead of just doing questionnaires with parents, but uh, we'll see if I'm able to do that. And if you're more interested, my poster is over here, and I'd love to talk to you more about it. So thank you. Thank you.